Hi, it's Gio again today. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, the best the best settings for the Citro 3DS emulator on Android. Now, these are my settings, which I think are pretty good. They're a the mixture of my own and what I, I read and pick up um, on the internet, that kind of thing. Uh, I will say that if you have the uh, Snapdragon, for smartphones with the Snapdragon 845 and 855 respectively, you will get a better experience than what I'm getting because I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S10, but it has the Exynos 9820 processor in it. Um, and for the Citra emulator, it's not, it's, it's okay. Uh, but if you have the Snapdragon, you will get a better performance. So let's go into the, the Citra emulator and let's check out some of my settings. So the problem with this emulator, sometimes it does come up with that error. So you're going to app info and then come back out. So my settings, uh, emulate your region, also. Audio uh, stretching, uh, ticked. System clock type and system clock starting override. Uh, I leave, I don't touch that. Uh, video backend to enable hardware, ren enable hardware renderer, ticked. Enable hardware shader, unticked. Enable accurate multiplication in hardware shaders, unticked. Enable accurate geometric shaders in hardware shaders, unticked. Enable JIP compiler for shaders, uh, ticked. You will need that. Internal resolution, a set at time, uh, times one. Uh, enable VSync, ticked. Override emulated CPU clock speed, unticked. Emulated CPU clock speed. 92%. Now, if you set it at around about 90, 92, what I've got here, you will get a small FPS boost. Uh, you can get up to like three frame rates a second, so one to watch out. Sterile's copy, uh, unticked, and depth is set to zero. So let's come out of the settings and let's go into Mario Kart 7. And there you go. So 
that's just my settings but i think on uh that would be a good setting good settings to have on uh whether using the exynos or snapdragon or custom build or the unofficial build uh but yeah it's pretty good so i will leave a link in the description for this custom build uh also a uh, way to get the games and i'll also leave uh, in the description the tutorial that i did the other day how to download and install games uh, for the Citra 3ds emulator so if you've liked the video stay tuned for more and i should see you soon bye for now